So the San Andreas Mercenaries DLC was commonly considered to be a bit lacklustre, but one thing that I feel that's being overlooked are some of the changes that have been made to the hangar, which in my opinion are a total game changer. Not only have they added a brand new passive money method in the form of a guy named Rooster who will collect air freight cargo on your behalf instead of you having to do the missions yourself, but they've also reworked the entire crate sourcing and sale system, making the whole process infinitely easier for solo players. With a lot of misinformation being spread and no explanation from Rockstar at all, most of these changes seem to have passed players by, but in this video I'll be going over everything you need to know while also showing you how to make as much money as possible. The first thing you'll need to do if you don't already own a hangar is purchase one over at Maze Bank Foreclosures, where I'd recommend you choose any of the three Fort San Kudo based locations as it will give you an all access pass to the military base. As for upgrades, the only one I'd recommend at this stage is the personal quarters. It'll only set you back around 200k and while it's not strictly necessary for this method, it does make it a bit easier. Once purchased, you'll get access to all the perks the hangar has to offer, including the main focus of the video, which revolves around my boy Rooster. You can find him in this corner of the storage area, where he'll give you the option of collecting cargo on your behalf for a fee of 25k, which you can then sell for a profit later down the line. It'll take him 48 real life minutes or one in-game day to collect the cargo, which will still count down even if you're not logged into the game. After that time, he'll return with either one or two crates, with a 25% chance of him collecting the second one. But considering that prior to this update, the only option that players had for collecting cargo was by setting up difficult and time-consuming missions through the computer in their office. Now only having to quickly place an order with an NPC is one hell of an improvement. But even the sourcing missions where you collect the cargo yourself have had a massive upgrade as well, where they've introduced a new series of land-based missions that are a lot faster and easier than the original air-based ones. The cool thing about that is you can collect the cargo at the same time as Rooster, which if you plan on filling up your hangar as fast as possible can certainly make things a lot more streamlined. The only downside is while the new missions are certainly a lot faster than the old ones, if you're playing solo you can still only collect one crate at a time, which is going to take you a while if you plan on maxing out the 50 crate storage capacity back at the hangar. So with that being said, you can start to see why it's pretty decent that Rooster has a 25% chance of picking up two crates. Because I mean really it couldn't be any simpler. You don't even have to set a timer for every 48 minutes or anything like that, just set your spawn point at the hangar and do it whenever you load into the game and then whenever you get a spare moment throughout your grind session. You'll then slowly fill up your hangar over time and before you know it you'll have all 50 spots loaded and ready to be sold. The only major flaw I'd point out is that by choosing to go with the rooster method, you have absolutely no control over what crates he collects, and when you sell a collection of mixed goods, you forfeit any potential bonus money that you could have earned. Traditionally, the best option for making money with the hangar was by exclusively sourcing one type of cargo, which would then give you quite a significant bonus when it came time to sell. With a potential additional bonus of up to 70% for a full sale, having to forfeit the extra money might seem a little bit painful, and trust me, I do get it. But the big difference is you don't have to work to collect the crates. Any money that you make after Rooster's expenses is pure profit. And when you're just quickly pushing a few buttons after logging into the game, instead of having to complete a metric shit ton of collection missions like this, I'll take the easy money any day of the week. After all, this method is completely passive and is basically just the same as Lupe in the warehouse, albeit not quite as profitable. Like I said though, there is a lot of misinformation going around about how much money you can make from this with people not accounting for the forfeiture of sale bonuses, but the figures are still worth considering for something with so little effort involved. If the game works as intended and Rooster collects two crates 25% of the time as he's meant to, you'll have to place 40 orders for him to completely fill your hangar. Those crates will then be worth $1.5 million in total, giving you a fairly average return of 500k in profit. But if you're incredibly unlucky and for some reason Rooster only collects one crate per order, a worst case scenario would have you earning 250k after expenses. But if you want to make some serious money from this little passive earner, 
my biggest recommendation and what I'll be doing personally is loading it up until it's completely full like this and then waiting for a two times money event week to roll around. All of a sudden, that measly 500k profit we were looking at before will immediately skyrocket many times over. A full hanger of mixed goods when sold on a double money event will earn an insane $2.97 million after Ron takes his cut. So even when you deduct the $1 million that you paid Rooster to source the crates, you'll still be earning just shy of $2 million in pure profit. Granted, this method does require some patience, but for those of you who don't mind playing the long game, there's some very tasty rewards on offer. Then once the hangar is all filled up and the event week has rolled around, all that's left for us to do is sell it. Back in the day, it was completely impossible to sell a full hangar by yourself, and solo players were forced to sell off 10 crates at a time to ensure that the mission didn't have too many vehicles to deliver. Thanks to the new update though, the entire thing has gone and changed, and you can now sell all 50 crates by yourself, no worries at all. Much like when we were sourcing cargo before, when you're on the sell page, simply select the land option instead of the air option, and you'll be given a brand new type of mission that can be easily completed solo. Gone are the days of the nightmare inducing nine helicopter cell missions that had you tearing your hair out from start to finish and say hello to the future of hangar sales. Yep, your eyes don't deceive you. This is a completely full 50 crate hangar sale, which has somehow managed to squeeze inside this tiny little car. I read from a few sources that a number of people were making sales up to 25 crates with one vehicle, but I never expected it to go this far. The fact that we can now sell a full 50 crate hangar by ourselves is a total game changer and could see this largely forgotten business getting a lot more use. Not only can a full sale be completed solo, but the mission is also surprisingly easy as well. I'm assuming there will be different variants, but the few that I got simply had me driving to a series of 10 locations dotted around some fairly remote parts of Los Santos. And that's it. No enemies, no overly harsh timer, no real obstacles of any kind. Just drop the containers at each of the various locations, just like an MC sale, and bam, no worries at all. Coming up to the end, I kept expecting some kind of obstacle or difficulty, but nope. Hit the last drop off and immediately got paid the $1.5 million, minus Ron's incredibly modest 30k fee of course. Obviously I had to sell my hangar now because I needed the footage for the video, but trust me, like I said before, you're definitely going to want to wait for a double money event if you want to earn those big bucks. Suddenly that $1.5 milli will get turned into just shy of three million dollars making your investment with Rooster all the more worth it. Even doing it that way, Rooster might not be on the same level as Lupe, but there's still some serious money to be made if you follow my advice and play your cards correctly. If you found this video useful though, please help it to be seen by more people by tapping the like button down below. And if you're new to my channel, do think about subscribing as well. I cover all things GTA Online and I've got some very exciting content on the way that you definitely don't want to miss. But until we meet again, you bunch of legends. I am Red Knight Trait, and I'll catch you on the next one.